Hello everyone, this is Jack. I'm out at what I call my graveyard. Not really a graveyard, obviously. Um, I really couldn't do this stuff with the uh, skeletons in an actual graveyard. Funny thing though is I'm right next to one. Uh, I'm about to show you some graphic content. Uh, I just skinned a fox and did a little bit of flimsing, fleshing, I forget what it's called. Took off the meat as much as I could, given all the flies. So, if you're really squeamish, you may not want to watch this. And here's the fox. And put a put him in a nice new frame, new screen on it. So, just uh, because my my collection of stuff is growing. Um, as you can see, I fluted the ribs. If it wasn't for all the flies and mosquitoes back here and other bugs, I would probably have done a little bit more. But he's over a day old, maybe two or three days old now, and we didn't want to do him. There's my box that goes over him. I just made this, so it barely fits inside. So now there's plenty of insects that can get inside, as well as water from the rain. Uh, so that's something you need. I will have to go get some bricks, and I'm going to put some bricks across. Normally I wouldn't use lattice, just because it's uh, an uneven surface and hard to nail at the edge. Um, you know, though I have to use two nails, I'd rather not. I used to depend on that thing, uh, just a plastic tote. And I had gr drilled holes into it for for rain to get in, of course bugs. But as you can see, it cracks. Also, not enough holes for water to get in. So sometimes it gets too dry inside, and uh, and then mold starts to grow. Also, the bugs won't eat at it. And if I'm really lazy, or I just don't have the space. Hang it in a bag from a tree. Not the best way. That that skeleton and those two over there should have been done because uh, they were small, lots of insects, but not the proper drainage. Uh, you do want some moisture. You don't want a puddle. So, all right. So there's my nice new little thing there. I'm gonna go get a brick to put on that. And uh, that's all I got for you.